But you don't have to travel to Lanzarote for some stunning scenery. Joe Lindsay is on a short getaway on the west coast of Ireland. This week, I'm exploring Ireland's largest island, Ackle, which is accessible by road bridge. It's known as a destination for those who love the great outdoors, hiking, hill walking, water sports, and cycling. I'm about to embark on the Great Western Greenway. At 42 kilometers, or 26 miles, it's one of the longest off-road walking and cycling paths in Ireland. So I better get a move on. The Greenway follows the route of the old Westport to Ackle Railway, which closed in 1937. Cyclists have a choice of three trails here. They vary in length and ability, and it's a great way to take in the scenery. Even in the rain. A few pieces of advice for you. One, bring your smartphone. You can scan it at points like this and find out everything you need to know about the Greenway. Second piece of advice, you might want to bring an anorak. As well as a cycle trail, Ackle also has a food trail called the Gourmet Greenway. Ackle is famous for its food, particularly, obviously, seafood. I'm here to meet a man who brings it directly from the ocean to your table. Nathan. And that man is Jerry Hassett. Wow, look at that, Jerry. That's beautiful. Who catches the fish locally and smokes it. So these are the smokers, Jerry? These are my, the two kilns that I have, yes. Wow. Look at that. Are they ready to come out? They're ready. I really wish you could smell this. Oh, I mean, the smells are very well, Jerry, but can we have a wee taste of it? Oh, I'm sure we can arrange that. This is the perk of the job, this. Let's have a wee taste of that. Mmm, Jerry, sir, you are an artist. I've not got a hang on for a bit of wheat and bread, real butter, uh, on top. I'm sure we can arrange that. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Okay. Ackle Island is at the heart of the wild Atlantic Way, and Keem Bay is one of the five blue flag beaches here. <laughs> Keem Bay is said to have been blessed by St. Patrick. According to folklore, he gazed upon its golden sands and said, no one will ever drown in its waters. During the summer months, there are lifeguards here doing the saint's work. Ackle has a rich history, and the ruins of a village at the base of Sleavemore Mountain are a reminder of Ireland's past. Once Ackle's largest village, it was deserted during the famine. I'm meeting local Sean Malloy for a tour. There were 1,700 people living here during the time of the famine. That means there was 12 or 13 people in every single house. Blimey. And they're not that big either. They're not that big, no. When you put the cattle in. And for the cattle in as well, yeah. Yeah. And everything was recycled. Including, when you say including, everything? Including all the waste from, from the cattle as well. It was all shoveled out in the morning, put into a pit, and then that was used to fertilise all the potatoes. And as you can see here, just these ridges here, mm -hmm. when they look like that, more than likely, the last crop was never taken out of the ground. So that means wow. that these are the ridges where the crop failed. Blimey. If you're staying over, the four-star Mulrani Park Hotel offers rooms or apartment suites suitable for couples or families. After a hard day's gallivanting about, you might want to treat yourself to a wee libation in a good pub. You'd be hard-pressed to find a better one than this one. There's only one problem, however. You may never want to leave. 